So we are looking at problem 2-1 and now we want to think a little bit about how to find the answer to part B. So we want to find the probability that n is equal to 1 conditioned on the fact that n is equal to 1. And uh, I'll go on to this part just in a second. So the probability that n is equal to 1 given that we know that n is equal to 1. Well intuitively if we know n is equal to 1, then what's the probability it's equal to 1? Well, then we are 100% sure, right? That's 100%. Uh, so that's the intuition part. Given that you know it's raining today, what's the probability it's raining? It's raining, right? Then it's quite clear. Um, so let's just try to calculate this mathematically as well. We have the formula on conditional probabilities here. Uh, so what we want is the probability of the union of these two events divided by the probability of the event we are conditioned on. And sorry, I did not mean union, I meant intersection. The intersection of these two events divided by the probability that n is equal to 1. Uh, so this is just, well, the intersection of one event with itself uh, that's just equal to it itself. And we divide with the probability that n is equal to 1. And this is quite clearly 1. So that wasn't too hard. Um, and now the probability that n is equal to 1. I think I'm going to change a color here so that we can see that we're actually switching between different parts of the exercise. So the probability that n is equal to 1 given that n is greater than 0. So given that n is greater than 0, let's just take a look at the intuition here. So if n is greater than 0, then n can be, well what can it be? n can be either 1 or it can be 2, right? Now, what is the probability that it is 1 and it isn't 2? Well, intuitively, if we look at this, then it seems like the probability weight of it being 1 is 3 times that of it being 2. So, something tells us that the probability of it being 1 is at least greater than a half. It's probably even 3 quarters because, you know, uh, 0 0.15, 0 0.05. If you've ever mixed drinks, the ratio here is 3 to 1, and there are four pieces all in all, so it feels like 3 quarters. But uh, let's just try to do this mathematically. So the probability that n is equal to 1, given n is greater than 0, using the formula again, is given by the probability of the intersection of the two events. divided by the probability of what we're conditioning on. And this is just equal to the probability of n being 1, because n equal to 1 is an event that's included inside the, pro the event that n is greater than 0. And we divide this by the probability that n is greater than 0. So the probability that n is equal to 1 is given by 0 0.15, as we can see above. And the probability that n is equal to uh, is greater than 0, well, that happens if either n is equal to 1 or if n is equal to 2. So it's the probability of the two added together. And that is equal to 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.15 plus 0 0.05 which gives three quarters. Which also is in accord with our intuition, in fact.